Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, if you're new here, my name's Jamie. If you haven't watched any of my other videos, I really hope that you go watch those. And I'm really glad that you're here. Please subscribe, stick around, and I, I really hope you guys enjoy watching this Ipsy unboxing slash Target video. And I hope you guys like these products, and I hope maybe that you'll go out and try them, because I'm telling you, if I'm telling you it's good, I promise it's good, you guys. So please check it out, and Let's get on with the video. The video. I'm back and I have a little haul for you. So I get an Ipsy box subscription every month. I think I pay $21 and I get five full size products in there. And I've really been enjoying it um, December was good, January was really not that great, and then this month I was actually pleasantly surprised with it. And then I did go to Target and got a few things, so I thought I'd share that with you guys too, because uh, if you're like me, which I'm sure you are, you love Target, who does it? if you don't like Target? I don't know if we can be friends, because like seriously, Target's the shit. Okay, so we're going to dig into it. First, I'm going to open up my Ipsy box. Here it is, right here. I actually have already opened everything because, you know, if I did this face of makeup with the products in here, and if you want to know how I got this face of makeup, I'm going to upload another video um, with me putting on all the makeup, testing it out, doing a wear test, and seeing how it works out. So stay tuned for that video. That'll be coming up next. But let's go through and talk about everything I got in the box. So when you open it up, it says discover yourself and then it looks like this on the inside with all the products this was the bag this month um, just a little pink bag with a maroon zipper it's not really my style okay so the first thing I got in my box that I saw right away were these sweet chef sheet masks so I got one in ginger plus vitamin C and then a beet plus vitamin A and then a kale plus vitamin B and I just think the packaging is super cute on these like how adorable are those they have like a little mason jar on there and then obviously like that's ginger and then this is a beet right here and then that's a piece of kale I think it's super super cute um, the MSRP on these are ten fifty a piece I think they're cute I, I, I don't like usually use sheet masks but I'm really excited to try these they're free of parabens and synthetic dyes and fragrance fragrances, so that's really nice. I'm really sensitive to fragrances, so I'm really excited that it does have these fragrances in it. Um, but yeah, they're super, super cute. Um, it looks like you just put it on for 15 to 20 minutes, and you got a fresh new face, girl! Like, come on! Those are cute! Ten fifty for the full size, so I'm assuming full size is like a few of them in a box, maybe? I don't know exactly. The next product I have is from Wander Beauty. It's the Nude Illusions Liquid Foundation. Um, hopefully you guys can see that there. This is in the shade Fair. And this is full size is $40 for this. Um, I am doing a wear test on this right now on the left side of my face here. And it will be in my next video. We'll kind of break it down and go uh, talk about it. But... Um, yeah, I was really excited to try this, so I hear a lot of good things about Wander Beauty, so that's pretty neat that it was in my box. I'm going to slaughter this. The next item is Belle en Argent. I, I literally have no idea how to pronounce this. Um, it's a lipstick. I am wearing it right now. Um, it comes in this really pretty packaging here, and you open it up, and it's really nice. It's like a nice little, I don't know, muted nude pinky brown. This retails for $26. Okay. Okay, the next item in my box box is the uh, Dominique Cosmetics eyeshadow palette. Um, this is the eyeshadow palette here. And when you open it up, it's got these lovely shades in it right here. If you can see those. So the shade names are like Sweater Weather, Messy Bun, Chill, they're so cute. I just love the shade names of these. Cuddle, Toasty, Fuzzy, oh, they're so cute. I obviously use them. Let me swatch one of them for you, like this Messy Bun. 
they're a little rough texture when you feel them with your finger um but then when you let's see here apply them they're really 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 soft i don't know if you guys can see that i'm like breaking my arm to show you guys um super super soft really pretty uh, i have them on my eyes right now and i'm really happy with that i usually like with eyeshadows palettes i've gotten in my ipsy boxes in the past have not been that great so I, this was actually like a pleasant surprise retails for 29 dollars okay okay last thing i got in my ipsy box was the il maquillage uh liquid lip liner or <laughs> lip liner the liquid eyeliner god this is what it looks like I don't know if you guys can see that. It's like a really sharp felt pen that retails for $21. Also with Ipsy you can get add-ons and I got a few add-ons as well this month because they're like $3. First add-on I got, I got two of the same thing. The Pure 4-in-1 Love Yourself um, longwear foundation and concealer so it's like a concealer and a foundation in one this is them they're just little tiny travel sizes here um they're really cute everyone raves about these so i wanted to try them out and in my next video you'll see i'm actually wearing it on this right side of my face right now another add-on i got was the auto bomb girl power cheeks on the go and the bomb just a little tiny blush it's really cute i have it on right now this is in the, I think, the shade Houston. Um, it says it right there, so I'm, I don't know if that's like the shade name. I'm not sure. This is super cute. I really like this. And for two bucks, I mean, come on. And then the last add-on I got, Dr. Frog Water Full Charge All-in-One. It's basically an all-in-one moisturizer. It has everything in it that you need. This is it right here. Um, it's just a little guy. I've tried this actually for a few days just because I wanted to try it out and like kind of test it and see and I actually really do like it. It soaks in the skin really really well and um, you can put it on right before you put your makeup on and it works great as a primer too because like I don't really like believe in primers per se so I was really excited to try this. This was two bucks as well as an add-on so I was really really excited to try that and it, it ended up worked out. So that was everything in my Ipsy bag, you guys. We've got the sheet masks, the blush, the little moisturizer, the Dominique's Cosmetics palette, the Wonder Beauty foundation, the Il Maquillage felt tip liquid liner. We've got the two Pure in One Love Your Selfie foundations in two different shades. And we got the Bella and Argent. I have no idea. Please, someone tell me how to pronounce this, but um, the lipstick as well. So, let's add this all up and see how much all of this together is worth, because I paid $21 for this box, I believe. So, let's see if it was worth it. Okay, you guys, so I found out it's $25 for the box, and it's five full-size products, and then that's for the add-on, it was $3 a piece, so it was $12, so all together... $7 for everything in this box with the add-ons. Normally it's only $25. Just for the five items that originally came in this box, it's a $136 and I paid $25 for it. So I think that it's like a pretty good deal for $25. Bucks. Of course, I really like it. So I hope that you guys enjoyed that. If I'm obviously not an affiliate with Ipsy at all. Um, obviously <laughs> so there's a lot of hits a few misses and you know that's kind of what you get for a subscription box so whatever you know okay moving on i went to target today and i wanted to show you guys some stuff that i got and i did already use some of the stuff because I'm, i was filming another video of like putting on my makeup and stuff and showing you guys how it all works and everything so i did use some of the stuff already but i did want to show you guys what i got I originally went to Target to look for the solid sponge sponge cleaner. It's this one's empty, obviously. I needed a new one. It's disgusting. It's completely empty. But when you get it, it's like a bar of soap in there that's completely full, and you just rub your uh, beauty sponge on it and like rinse it under water, and it cleans your sponges so well. I obviously use it. This is like my third one. Target's out of them. 
everywhere's out of them. I've looked everywhere. I'm gonna have to order it online. So until then, I, I found this makeup brush cleanser from Sonia Kashuk. Am I saying that right? I don't know. Obviously, you can tell I tried this today. My brushes were disgusting. I've honestly like never really washed them since I got them. They are super clean. I mean, this is crazy. They're stained from my, my eyeshadows, obviously, but like they're so much better looking. Like, look at this. This is a powder brush. This looks like almost brand new. I know some of the bristles are a little like messed up, but I think that could be my fault for like aggressively swirling it, but honestly, the only thing I don't like is like it leaves that smell of rose water. Ugh, and it's really intense. But yeah, all my oh, they're so soft. Like, it really does work. I went through and washed all of these brushes. <laughs> my one container. I have a whole other container. You guys don't even want to see it. It's disgusting. And then I have those back there that I don't really use. So they're just, like, decoration at this point. But yeah, I did wash all of, like, I washed these ones. These were, like, black. And they're supposed to be orange. This is the color of the natural brush. But this, like, these are, they're so clean. This stuff works, you guys. Like, I was so pumped about it. Uh, you know, I, I've cleaned my foundation brush. I mean, come on. I'm so excited about it. So, yeah, I know, like, my brushes are stained, but they're so clean, and I'm so excited. So I was really, really, really excited about this, and I wanted to share it with you guys. I wanted to try some new mascara. Um, I follow a girl named Jamie French on YouTube. If you don't follow her, you should. She's so genuine. She's so real. She's so freaking funny. I've never laughed harder ever in my life than when I watch her videos. And she says that Rimmel makes some of the best mascaras that she's ever tried that she likes for like a drugstore. So I was like, okay, I'll go check one out, right? Well, I go and I get this Rimmel Wonderlux Volume Mascara full body volume, right? Well, I tried it out, you guys. I opened it up. This is it. The brush. Like, I don't know. I didn't look at the animation. I just read, like, the stuff about it. But, like, I hate these brushes. I hate them. I don't like it. I'm so bummed. So I'm hoping what I can do is take in a different brush from like one of my older mascaras and maybe wash it and then use it in this because I like the formula of this. I just don't like the brush head. Like I'm really bummed about that. But the it does work. My an e.l.f. total face sponge. I think this was this is like five or six dollars. I think it's five, maybe six. I know that the that this stuff is six bucks. The e.l.f. sponge is the shit, okay? I'm telling you, it's the bomb. I've tried all different kinds of sponges. I have Morphe sponges over here, and they're like so dense and hard, and like they just have like a different texture. Like this one's like soft, and this one's just like, I don't know how to explain it. It's just a different kind of texture. I haven't found another sponge like e.l.f. like this, and this is the total face sponge. They do make other sponges, and I'm sure I have a different texture, but this one, this is it, you guys. If you're looking to try a new sponge, I'm telling you, I know e.l.f. is like cheap, but I'm telling you, some of the best stuff I have is from e.l.f. Um, they're far and few between, but when you do find them, they're legit. And this is this. I'm telling you, you guys. These are the shit. You gotta get one. Okay, moving on. What else we got? I got myself this shirt. I think it's really cute. I'll, like, stand up and show you guys. It's a long sleeve. And, um, it buttons down. I don't know if the buttons work or not. I didn't try. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they do work. Okay. It's super cute. It's tight fit. It was on the clearance section. Like, if you go into Target, there's a section by, like, the underwear and the lingerie, and it's, like, 30 to 70% off, and I just scrounged those. And this doll this shirt was $3.60. Super good find. Also, I found this shirt, which I cannot wait. It's so soft. This is um, a Golden Girls shirt, and it says, Stay Golden. Ah, I love it. Oh, my gosh. I love it so much. Okay, so this was, it was $14.99, and I paid $7.48 for it, so it was like 50% off. Seven bucks. And it's like that old, it's like that rustic, or that like weathered gray. Oh, it's so cute. I'm so stoked about this shirt, and it's kind of like a crock top, crop tee, almost. Oh, I'm so excited. I love it. I also got this. I've kind of been into turtlenecks lately. I don't know what my deal is, but... Not like big ones that like fold over, but just like a little bit. I think they're super cute. So I found this. This is like a crop 
turtleneck in like a, I don't know, like a salmon color. I'm not good with colors. But I think it's so cute. And I think I got this one for like three bucks too. This is the Wild Fable, the Target brand, you know? Um, and this one was originally $12 and I paid $3.60 for it. If you're a mom or if you just, you know, have nieces or nephews or whatever, kids love bubbles. Like you literally can't go wrong with them. So they have these Sun Squad um, jugs. I got a pink one for my daughter and a blue one for my son. They're a dollar! And they have the cool wand, and it has like different sizes on it, so you throw like big and little bubbles. And we also have a bubble machine, so I just like pour it in there and like let the bubble machine go. And my husband's been dying for a razor, so I finally went and got him one. It's already out of the box because he had to take it out, but I just thought I'd show you the box. This is the Wall um, Edge Pro Cord Precise Grooming Shaver for men. All these different attachments on it. It's stainless steel, detachable blades, and he wanted one with a cord. He doesn't like the ones that, like, recharge or, like, put batteries in because he says, like, they don't last. Like, it'll last halfway through a shave and then he can't finish his shave and he has to, like, plug it in. Apparently they were just like really really crappy with the cord since it's plugged directly into the wall it's like like super strong really powerful it won't die obviously it's really nice it has like the fader and the edger and the trim and you know I think he's gonna really like it I'd like him to show me a before and after so I can show you guys but I doubt that'll happen the thing I got which is in like when you first walk into Target I call it the sucker section it's you know you walk in and it's like two dollars three dollars a dollar five dollars that's the sucker section you get sucked in there man and you're just like oh i put some things in my cart and then i put them back i'm like i don't need these what the hell am i doing but i did get this which i'm really excited about um it's a weekly calendar um sunday fun day manic monday taco tuesday wine wednesday throwback thursday finally friday selfie saturday is what it says this week has me like and i just put the dates up here and today is the day and each column is a day and I'm using it for like my um, YouTube calendar you know like filming uploading and editing film upload upload edit film edit upload blah 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 you guys don't need to know all that but I this was really nice for me to have like down here in my filming area I just have it sitting right over here where I can see it really clearly and yeah I really really like it and I'm really excited about that also I know this isn't Target, this is Walmart stuff, but I wanted to throw it in here because, you know, I'm all about the bargains. James's Nana got them for the kids, and I was just so excited about them, I thought I'd share them with you guys. Um, this one says, Mommy's a Lucky Girl, and it's just so cute, and it's pink. Oh, oh my gosh, I can't wait. And then this one is for Ace. It says, Happy St. Patrick's day with a little t-rex it's so cute i love it oh my gosh how adorable are these you guys i think they're all 4.96 at walmart um and then we got another one for my daughter i am cute mommy's pretty and daddy's lucky ah, it's so cute you guys oh my gosh this one doesn't have a price it says tutu bodysuit on it but it doesn't say a price but i'm assuming it's around the same it's got like a little tutu on the bottom with the shamrocks on it. Ah, it's so cute. And then we got a little green tutu. How freaking cute is this? Oh my God. Ah, I'm so excited. I think with that pink shirt with this, that would be so, so cute. Any sort of holiday, I always want to decorate and like do stuff. Like I have all my Valentine's Day stuff up right now. I even have like little hearts and flowers over here and that says, oh my heart and this says love and I'm gonna change it up every month I just I just love decorating like that I think I will kind of do like a little house tour and show you guys my decorations each month and like show you guys that too because I do love that stuff and I want to share that with you guys and I just want to share my life with you guys and hope that you guys like it or are just like as crazy as I am because I'm just like a weird bargain shopper and I like good deals. I hope you guys like this video with the Ipsy and the Target slash Walmart haul. Um, I know I just wanted to kind of like do these. I really do like doing unboxings and like shopping hauls. I definitely will be doing them more and more. I just, yeah, I wanted to share that with you guys and I hope you guys like this video a lot. I am going to be uploading 
a video of me trying on all of the Ipsy makeup and using the e.l.f. sponge and the mascara. I'm going to be doing that. I'm editing that tomorrow and uploading that probably Tuesday. This okay, guys, that's it. I'm done goofing off in my basement. What time is it? It's 1.49 in the morning. All right, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you stick around, subscribe, like, comment like the sign says, and I will see you guys on the next one. Okay, bye. Mwah.